What is good everyone, Shoops here. Today we have this chunky boy. This right here is the newest installment of MM Studio's class series of retro themed keyboards, the class 60. So some more details on this board. This board is currently slated to run for group buy from June 15th to June 30th for a starting retail price of $250. Honestly, looking at the features of this board, this right here might be one of the craziest keyboards at this price range or in general even that I've ever seen. It's honestly mind blowing. Now let's get into some of these features. First off, the board has two different mounting methods which are both extremely based. It has a classic top mount compatibility and also leaf spring which allows for a plate or a plateless build that works with both options. For the leaf spring implementation, uh, it is pretty similar to what we've seen on the Owl Lab spring and the Matrix Corsa where there are those little leaf springs with rubber nubs where you can place the mounting points. As for the PCB, yes, this is actually very important. It is standard 1.6 millimeters with zero flex cuts. Oh my god, this shit is literally getting everything right and comes in five different versions, which is wired soldered, wired hot swap, Bluetooth hot swap, wired hot swap allowing for arrow keys, and finally, and finally, the craziest option of them all. Wait for it a wired capacitive PCB, which means Topra and dome compatibility. And yes, this does come standard with all you need, including domes and sliders, which are MX compatible. Holy fucking shit. Honestly, I do not think I've seen such a stacked lineup of options before for a board at this price range. Hell, even outside of this price, you can't really find this shit. I'm actually beyond impressed with this. Oh yeah, and to make it even crazier, it also allows for buzzer and solenoid because why not? And now finally, we have the actual externals of the board. It'll be available in all these different colors. Uh, it will feature this very retro look, very chunky, with both a internal and a external weight. Goodness gracious, how do you even compete with this shit? Okay, so for the build, I really wanted to try the capacitive build, but unfortunately for my prototype, I wasn't sent the uh, capacitive PCB. So we'll be going with the plateless build because I am a plateless enjoyer with your classic MX Blacks that I always use for testing. Yo, what is good everyone? Uh, welcome to another episode of Shoob's Talks Without a Fucking Script. How are you guys doing? Um, recently... Uh, I don't know if you guys knew, but I started lifting earlier this year, around September-ish, or last year, I guess. And uh, I've been going at it. I go at least three to four times a week. Uh, pretty good progress so far, but uh, I've started cutting, and uh, yeah, it's been rough. <laughs> cutting is a rough, boys. Uh, but basically, I've been tracking my macros and calories a lot stricter or more strictly and been doing a lot more cardio every single day been running every single day it's been really good for my mental health i'm not gonna lie and uh, we're down around eight pounds um, i'm trying to get down around 20. oh but right here i wanted to note man you had to put these little silicone plungers through this hole for the lease rings and my cursed hands were too slippery and uncoordinated. It took me like an hour to do so. And uh, for the, for the uh, solenoid and buzzer, you have to put a little tape behind it so it doesn't circuit, short circuit or whatever. Um, but yeah, overall build was a little bit more difficult than I'm used to, but it was fun. It was uh, more challenging than usual. We're going with GMK Moto uh, for the classic look and yeah. So this is how the board looks fully built. Please don't mind the fingerprints. My hands are mad sweaty from trying to get those silicone gasket into the leaf spring holes. But uh, yeah, this thing is a chunky boy. It is pretty damn heavy. Feels like it's like around four or five pounds, maybe a little more. Here is how the back weight looks. This is a PVD one. 
and uh, overall it's a very you know chunky retro themed board side profile is honestly just a freaking block with a little lip super simple uh, with this little uh, bottom part hanging out I think it looks super simple but actually super nice actually a big fan of how this is looking like So, what do I think of the board? It's a banger, man. What what can I say? Starting off the typing experience, at least for me, it is super good. It is not crazy flexy, and the overall typing feel is pretty sturdy with a soft bottom out. I would have preferred a bit more vibrations, but overall this thing feels great. And there is actually no danger of bottoming out the PCB as well since the leaf spring gasket implementation makes it pretty much impossible. Uh, pretty good design choice right there. Now for the sound profile, this board is pretty damn deep. With a double weight and an extra chunky body, the alphas at least to me in the playlist configuration sound extremely smooth and full. The choice of leaving no flex cuts was also a great decision in my opinion in order to achieve this sound profile. Honestly a huge fan of the sound. But like many playlist boards though, I do think that the mods are a little bit thin but I'm honestly pretty used to that at this point. Overall, this board for the price and honestly even beyond that price range is a steal. The typing feel and sound compares to many great playlist customs out there and with the addition of the capacitive PCB as well as two different mounting methods, it's honestly like getting three different keyboards in one. As for the build quality, it's pretty much perfect, the Anno is great, don't mind the fingerprints, and um, it's honestly built like a freaking tank, this thing is heavy as hell. <laughs> for those that are into playlist boards, vintage themed boards, and just interesting 60% keyboards in general, I can honestly highly recommend this. It sounds great, feels nice, and is super unique. And in all honesty, for the starting price of 250 I can't think of a more interesting 60% keyboard out there. MM Studios really put some great thought into this design, and I'm pretty amazed at what they managed to create. This board gets a big thumbs up from me. Honestly, it's a banger. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I thank you, and if you haven't, please watch Gurren Lagann. That shit is peak.